Hi everyone, Joe Grand here to demonstrate a new kit version of the OpticSpy digital receiver module. I've been playing around with optical covert channels for about a year now, and I've just been really interested in how we can transmit messages, secret messages, uh, over light waves by modulating LEDs and other sorts of light emitting things like infrared or laser fast enough where the human eye can't perceive it. This is not really a new subject. There's lots of work in this area, lots of prior art, but it's just something that's really fascinated me. The Optics Buy modules are basically a bunch of different designs that I've created um, to help people explore and experiment um, with optical data transmissions. The receiver modules will capture, amplify, and decode signals transmitted over light into a digital form that could be analyzed with a computer or an Arduino or a logic analyzer or any other sort of measurement tool. The original digital receiver, an analog receiver that actually is a photodiode with a bunch of analog amplification circuitry, another analog version that has some potentiometers so you can actually adjust the uh, various gains and threshold voltage, and even a fully assembled a uh, streamlined version with a built-in FT231X USB to serial adapter. These were sold through CrowdSupply. And then the new Revision B of the Optics by Digital. All of the designs are completely open source. Everything's available on my website. Um, schematics, bill of materials, Gerber plots. Um, there's even links directly to Oshpark so you can make your own bare circuit boards. All the components are easily sourced through DigiKey or any of your other favorite distributors. I also have a bunch of sample code to demonstrate different types of transmissions. Here's a little board using an Arduino and there's an LED on there. I also have some code for the Parallax propeller processor. There's even code for the Tomu, this little tiny USB microcontroller. And there's some LEDs and capacitive touch sensing buttons on there. And a bunch of other transmitter examples as well. So I'm not going to go into the details of optical covert channels in this video. You can go see some of my presentations and other video examples on YouTube, but I did want to just go through the process of building the Optics by Digital Receiver Kit, and then just talking a little bit about how that circuit functions. The Optics by Digital Receiver circuitry is super simple. All the heavy lifting is done by this fiber optic receiver module. These particular receivers, they might look familiar. You see the front, there's like a little door where a fiber optic cable goes into them, and these are actually used on lots of audio equipment uh, for Toslink interfaces, Dolby AC3 digital audio interface, digital optical data link. The cool thing about this is it's actually designed to work with NRZ encoded data, non-return to zero, which is uh, the standard encoding method used for asynchronous data transmissions through a UART interface on a computer or through a microcontroller. So it's super easy to create transmission circuitry by just essentially doing a printf to an IO pin to control a light or to control a laser diode module or whatever it is that you want to transmit without lots of software overhead. There's really no secrets here. We're just using the product as is to decode our signal back into a logic level data stream. The circuit is powered through a USB to serial adapter. I'm using the Adafruit FTDI friend. Down here we have a very simple low dropout linear regulator. So that's taking the five volts from the USB line, bringing that down to three volts, which is the nominal operating voltage for the receiver. Have a little power indicator over here. So green light will turn on if uh, power is functioning properly. And then we have the output from the receiver, which is gonna be the NRZ encoded UART data that's being transmitted from the transmitter. That data is gonna come out and in one mode, just go directly through the switch straight to the output, which is gonna go to the receive line of the FTDI friend, which goes over to the host computer. In the case where we need to change the polarity, because sometimes the polarity of the transmitting signal is gonna vary depending on how the LED circuitry is set up. So if we have to switch the polarity, we just switch our switch. And down here we have just a simple inverter circuit with a 2N 3904 NPN transistor. And that goes through the other side of the switch, which will then go to the output. Since I use this project as a kit for students to build in a class, what I tried to do is have as many of the components be the same values as possible. So I have a bare board here that I just got in and uh, got a bunch of components. So let's go solder one of these things together. Our Optics by Digital Revision B is fully assembled. Let's go test it out. I have the optical receiver module connected through the FTDI friend uh, and then USB going to my computer. And then I have this board here that I'm using as the transmitter. You might have seen these in some of my other videos. This is my G-shaped circuit board that I use in my hardware hacking training classes. Right now, all the LEDs are on, but the red LED is actually transmitting a secret message. So if everything goes well, I should be able to just put my receiver module over that LED 
and we should be able to see on a terminal program what data is being sent. So here we go, put that in there, little door. Normally the optical cable goes in there, but we'll just shove the LED in instead. And we actually see the green light on the FTDI friend turning on. That means it's receiving data. See, I can take it out, put it in. All right, so let's hold this here and then take a look at the terminal program. Insert secret message here. So that data we're seeing is actually being transmitted over a UART interface through the LED to the receiver module and then displayed on the terminal program. And of course, if I remove this connection, no more data is being sent. So here's another view of everything in one frame. Got the receiver module, put the LED over the receiver and we see our data. Take the receiver away, no more data. Once again, I'm Joe Grand signing off and hope you have fun playing with uh, optical covert channels. OpticSpy digital receiver kit building video, successful.